Sponsored by Route 66 Solar. 510 on this Wednesday morning, and I gotta say, Nick, I'm looking forward to hopefully getting some time outside today after yesterday, not so much, you know. See, I did get outside a little bit. Alexander. Oh, well, I didn't. It was, and I, oh, you know, <laughs> over in Macon County, where it's very, as we saw just seven minutes ago here, yeah. uh, very much a problem area. Mm -hmm. A lot of rain yesterday, wind, power outage problems. Yeah. Thankfully, I didn't lose power, um, but uh, we couldn't go on the park. I don't know if you saw my reel that I posted. I did not. Yeah, it's it was a pool <laughs> at the playground. Uh, so hopefully it dries out a little bit today. We will be dry through the weekend. So it's I'm thinking by Friday, certainly not going to have any problems, or at least by Thursday. Looking at yeah. things right now, no complaints for me. Here's what those rain totals, those official finals are. And you can see here the vast majority of this rain. Look at places like Effingham, but Springfield coming in as the high watermark just for yesterday. So this was all after midnight, almost three inches of rain, really between about 1 a.m. and 4 a.m. is where that heavy rain fell. Now, Jacksonville, officially a quarter inch of rain for you folks, but uh, there was certainly more in some spots. The day before, places like Decatur add on another inch to that, so they had over three inches of rain in 20 in a 48 hour time frame there. Really, it was about a six hour timeline. So yeah, it was wet. We're drying out, sunshine coming out here. We're going to be looking a lot better in the next few hours. There's those low 80s here for us this afternoon, mid 80s at most. Humidity, non-factor, winds are straight out of the north there for us. I'm not complaining with temperatures like this for July. Typically, our average would be about 87. We're going to be the invert. We're basically flip those numbers around for tomorrow, and that's where we will be, 78. I'll take that. You can see those clouds are clearing. All the rain is out of the way for us. Everything now is further to our south. Of course, we talked about that flooding going on in southern Illinois. They still have some flash flood warnings there, but no longer the case. Everything north of that front has started the cooling and drying process. So what we're going to be seeing over the next few hours, maybe a brief bit of moisture there, but I think that's just overblown on the next weather maker. I really don't think we're going to see anything but a mix of cloud and sunshine, mostly sunny skies, in fact, through the afternoon. And I could just basically take this next weather maker and fast forward it for the next four or five days because there is nothing going on outside of a couple of clouds for Thursday. It is cool waking up Thursday morning. We're talking 50s out there. Friday, repeat the process here. We get to the upper 70s, maybe both Thursday and Friday. I have us right now right at 80 degrees for Friday afternoon. Shouldn't cause too many problems, though. When we look at our overnight lows for tonight into tomorrow, it's clear and cool for you. No problems out there. If the clouds hang around a little bit, might be right at 60. That would be it. Thursday right now, again, besides a couple of clouds, it's going to be fantastic. Really almost a spring-like day for us on Thursday. Friday, not much different. We're going to see those 80s, low 80s through the weekend. Finally, the humidity starts building in for Sunday. That does lead to some storm chances, but still mild temperatures for the start of next week. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.